Good morning, guys, and happy Saturday. I've got AJ and Charlie, and I thought I would take you guys on like a little mini vlog in opening the playroom. So I'm just gonna go like really in depth on what I do before I even open the doors. Today's kind of a short day. I just have one birthday party, and it's a Halloween themed birthday party, and these two were actually invited to it. Are you guys excited? Yeah. And I created my own costume. He did. And then Charlie's Spider-Man. And then I just have like a little bit of a spooky shirt on. So let's go inside and get this place ready for a birthday. You and I till the end. Don't be too pretend. Uh <laughs> All right. First thing we do is we come into this little corridor, which is a mess because that's the life I live. And the lights for the entire playroom are right here. Yeah, Let me just flip up. What do you want? Tower. The Eiffel Tower? Yeah. You can, can have I the Eiffel Tower. It? Sure. Um, they always ask for random stuff. Yeah. Because when mommy was going to Paris, I asked for the Eiffel Tower. And she said no. Statue of Liberty or the Empire State Building. She <laughs> went to New York. Not he, I knew what you meant, baby. Okay. We do have to shut this door. And since I'm here alone, well, you know what I mean. We're going to lock it. This a wonderful little sign lets us know that that means locked. I just need the Statue of Liberty. I know. I will get you one, okay? Yeah. And then let's shut the door and let's give the playroom a little once over. I haven't been here in a couple days. Oh, the spider has seen better days. He's looking a little rough. But Crystal did an amazing job cleaning last night. We gotta take some chairs down. I gotta change some signs. So let's take these chairs down real quick. Oh, first let's look at my desk and see if anything broke while I was gone. Yes, a broken toy right here. So we'll have to film a TikTok about that. I don't know why this is on my desk. Um, but yeah, we'll have to film a TikTok about this broken toy. And then I have some groceries that I didn't get to put away the other day from my Instacart delivery. So we'll wanna put this stuff away as well. Oh my gosh, some bleach. Whew. All right. Since it's a birthday party, I need to check the party room to see what it looks like because I definitely did not set it up before I went out of town. But my employees are amazing and they did it for me. Whew. It looks really good. These three tables I think are gonna be gone by the end of the month. I have like, a thing where I don't buy anything new for the playroom until the playroom's in the green. And while I was gone, we made it into the green. So now I'm gonna buy some new tables and I have three birthday parties this weekend, something like that. So I feel confident enough to buy some. Where's my tripod? All the chairs are down. So now I'm gonna write on the sign happy birthday, but I think I'm gonna make it a little bit spooky because today's birthday is a Halloween themed birthday. I would never make it holiday specific for a birthday party, except for the fact that it, the, the theme is the holiday. I want everyone to feel special and I don't want them to think that like, it's like mixed together, if that makes sense. With a December child myself, I really don't want anyone to feel like they're getting the short end of the straw when it comes to birthday parties. So I gotta clean it off and then I might do like happy boo day. Happy Boo Day. Does that sound, does that pun work? You guys have to let me know down in the comments if you have better birthday puns. Ooh, gotta clean this off. I find that a magic eraser works best on this. This is another one of the things that I wanna replace as soon as possible because I got this for free from a friend and she is showing some wear and tear. I can't decide if this was cute or terrible. I am not an artist. This board is so hard to clean, but this is what we're going with. It's a witch's hat. It's a ghost. Happy boo day, like happy birthday. This is what we're doing. Charlie, what do you think of my sign? Good. Good? All right. It's what we got, guys. This is what happens when you have a birthday party at Grandma's Playroom. A non-artist will create your sign. So we're going to put this outside so when they pull up, they can see it. It is now 9.14 and the birthday party will be here in about 30 minutes. So I need to turn on the music. I don't normally do that while I'm filming because of a copyright. So I will just let you guys know that I'm gonna be putting on like a Halloween station. Again, I wouldn't normally do that except for the fact that this is a Halloween themed birthday. And then I'm gonna go finish setting up the party room. I also wanna make sure that all of these doors are closed because if a door is open, children will put toys in the trash can or the toilet. 
I do think it looks pretty decent. I'm gonna remove these curtains because I think it makes the room look so much darker. Oh my gosh, this is not a good idea to do with one hand. And I'm gonna pop these in the closet. You can already tell it just looks so much cleaner, so much brighter. We do have the curtains because my son, my coworker's son sleeps in here. And I think we're all good. I need to put a trash bag in here. We need to get rid of this. This is a carpet square. Don't know why it's in here. One thing I just realized, my children were invited to this birthday party, so we need to get a present. I don't know why I just thought about this. I mean, they were like invited because I think she follows me on social media and saw that I have a hard time some weekends finding sitters. So she was super sweet about saying that she wanted them to come and I think her son watches and loves the children. So I definitely need to get him a toy. So I'm gonna look down in my room down here and see what I have. Oh, I've got some that magnetile farm animals. This would be a really good present. Obviously it's never been opened. I'm not giving this child a present of toys that are <laughs> that are used. Um, so I think he would really like that. I was gonna use that as a toy of the month, but honestly, I'll just go and buy another toy of the month because I really want him to have a toy. I can also do a bag of like fidgets. That might be a good idea because if he watches our content, maybe I'll do that. I don't know, guys. I wish I could ask for help, but by the time this goes live, I would have already have gotten the kid the present. So let me do a little bit of research, see what I can find, and I'll let you guys know when I get them. We ended up going with the magnetiles. I do not have wrapping paper, so I just threw a bow on it. I don't have a card, so we're not going to put that on it either. And I'm going to set it up here so he can see it when he arrives but that will be the birthday gift from aj and charlie i truly am so blessed that the customers that come into grandma's playroom are so sweet and embrace me and my family i made a tiktok the other day about saying that even if they say my children can play i never let them play because when you come in and you see that my kids are here and you're like oh they can play they're not prepared for it and i don't ever expect people to let my children play when I don't have a sitter for them. But this mom reached out to me last week and said she wanted to let us know that there was gonna be extra goodie bags and she like wanted my kids to be there. So I feel like it's a little bit of a difference as opposed to being like, oh my gosh, your children are here, let them play. Whereas she reached out ahead of time and said she wanted them to play. I think her son watches Charlie and AJ and wanted to see them in person. So I thought it'd be really sweet. My husband is working today, so they are here with me. And since I got back in town yesterday, I miss them. So I'm glad that they can come to work with me today. But I think I'm like out of breath. Ugh. I think that's everything. The playroom is ready to be opened. All I have to do is unlock the door, let them in. Um, like I said, I'll put on some music, but I don't want to do that until the vlog is over. But that's basically what I do to get the playroom ready. My employees are incredible. So there's really not much like morning things that have to be done. We do most of it when we close to make the person who's here in the morning have a smoother day because most of the time we bring our kids with us. So if you guys wanna see me do a how I close the playroom vlog, let me know. I'd be more than happy to film one for you. If you guys liked this video, I'd like it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. I gotta answer the phone. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh my gosh, don't forget to wash your hands. Bye. You and I till the end.